Hey, Crimson here. So, I know that it's too late for a wish list, and the majority of the things that I'm going to be asking for will not be present in the game, but I figured I'd make this video anyways. One of the coolest ideas that I would love to see implemented is if we were capable of influencing the look of this city. And what I mean by that is that a lot of people are angry about the new look for freckle bitches and rim jobs and everything, but what if we could purchase those businesses like we could originally in Saints Row 1, 2, and 3, and then purchase upgrades to those buildings that made them more reminiscent of what they looked like in the previous titles. If that was the case, I think a lot of people would be willing to forgive the new look of the stores if we were able to do something like this. The next thing that I'd love to see is the ability to downgrade myself. I know this is supposed to be a power fantasy game, but the problem with Saints Row is that it's always been too easy, not too difficult. Even in the older games, you would go and you'd complete these activities and diversions, and after you completed them, you would receive a buff that would make you so much more powerful than what you were that the game becomes a joke after that point. I love doing the activities and the diversions, but I would still like the option to be weak. For a game that's all about customization of your character and your cars and your cribs, it would be nice if I had the power to customize my difficulty. The last new feature that I want implemented is the ability to remove elements of the HUD. When you're making videos or just trying to get immersed in the game, sometimes you don't want to see that health bar or your ammo count and whatever else they like to show on the HUD. It's good for gameplay purposes, However, I would like to have the option to remove them if I wish. So the rest of this episode is actually going to be about old features that they removed from the original Saints Row that a lot of people aren't aware of simply because they didn't play the older games. The first thing I would like to see brought back is the pushback mechanic, where after you take a territory over from another gang, they'll try to reclaim that territory and a gang war breaks out within the district. I always felt that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas did this better in terms of a mechanical perspective, but in Saints Row it's always felt more alive and action-packed. Typically what I'll do in my games is I won't complete the pushbacks and I'll have them just go on forever, so it always feels as if there's a war going on in the territories that I own. The sad part is, is that in the older games, once you complete a pushback, they're gone forever. You'll never have that district fall under attack again. Meanwhile, in San Andreas, you can have enemy gangs try to take over the territory, and if you fail at defending your territory, they'll gain some influence in the area, and then you will have two different gangs spawning within the same district. Another thing that I like to see is a world that feels more alive. Another part of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is that you would have rival gangs have beef with one another, and they'll start fights. Unfortunately, in Saints Row 2, it's very likely that even if you do have two gangs in close proximity to one another, they might just not even recognize each other's existence. However, there are certain parts of Saints Row 2 that felt more alive. For example, I downloaded this mod in Nova SPE, and within this mod they added in Vice Kings to the game. The Vice Kings appear to be nothing more than just pimps in the game, but with a different model. And you can see, just from this little interaction that they had, this was completely organic. I didn't have anything to do with this, yet these Vice Kings are just going crazy and having their own little adventure within this world. I would like something like this to return, where the world itself doesn't need you to be there, and there will still be events that will happen within your absence. The next thing I'd like to see return is the Pawn Store. Back in the old days, like old old days in Saints Row 1, you could rob stores at nighttime and open their vaults, and within their vaults would be a box of goods. You could then take this box of goods, put it in the trunk of your car, and then drive off to a pawn store where you could then sell it for a decent chunk of money. For whatever reason, they decided to get rid of this feature in future installments of the game. I understand that a lot of people like having constant access to any of the stores, but there's an easy way for them to get around this issue and still implement a system where the stores will close at specific times. For example, you could have a mall that's just open 24-7. And another example would be the Grand Theft Auto V system where you just have 
an online store and can make purchases off of your phone. Another callback I would love to see return is the Wheel Woman. You unlock her really early on in Saints Row 1, and she'll just drive you around the city, and you can just sit in the passenger's seat and shoot anybody that crosses your path. One more thing from Saints Row 1 that I'd love to see return is the ability to use a train for transportation. I'm pretty sure this will not exist in the new game. It doesn't seem as if the infrastructure of their city was meant for trains, but I would still like to see some sort of public transport exist to some extent. Speaking of transport in the older games, you could also call up a taxi and they would fast travel you to whatever location you wish to go to. Not many people knew about this, but it was very handy and I'd love to see it return. Another old feature are more stores, specifically vehicle stores, somewhere I can go and actually spend my money. One of the problems with a lot of games nowadays is that you just have so much cash that you just can't possibly spend it all. Having a store that sells vehicles is a good way to sink your money into something. On top of that, if you're looking for one specific type of vehicle, you know exactly where to go to find it. Another cool thing about vehicles is that they contributed to your style bonus, so whenever you earned reputation, you would get additional points. Some more bare-bones game mechanics that would be great if they returned would be the ability to just pick up random objects around the world and throw them or set them down whatever you wish. And of course, being able to destroy items for money, for example, vending machines, ATMs, cash registers, the whole shebang. Another feature that was exclusive to Saints Row 1 is let's just assume you want to change your hairdo, but you don't want to spend $500 at Image as Designed in order to change all of your features. You could just go to a hair salon and change that specific feature about yourself. The last thing that I'd love to see return is a variety of options within stores. In Saints Row the Third, you would go to store after store and they would share a lot of inventory. I want there to just be exclusive items that you can only find within certain types of stores. It seems like this might be returning. I hope it does. And that's about it for this video. A lot of this was just returning old features that were cut for whatever reason, I'm not sure. I hope some of these features come back, and I hope to see you all in the next video.